So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 33rd Angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to create a reducer using the ngrx store module. So let's get started. Okay, so we have already covered a little bit about what reducers are and what they do, but let's just quickly over uh, overgo what reducer actually does. So a reducer is nothing but just a simple function which would respond to certain actions dispatched by your components. And with those actions, what it can do is that it can update the state, the main storage area of the application. So um, what we can do to create a reducer is that reducer is nothing but just a simple function so before that let's just create a folder here and we just say this as store so that we can just keep the redux things separate from our applications components and all that stuff so this would be store and reducers so this would consist of let's just say this is my um, app reducer .ts file so what happens here is that first of all what we need to do is export a function which is our reducer so i'm just gonna export this function as reducer and what happens is that this reducer would have an initial state obviously when any component calls this particular reducer for updating the state of the application it would already have predefined state before right so um what we would do is just do a state of initial state if the state is not defined it would take initial state and the second argument would be of the type action now what this action is that these are the actions which would be dispatched by the components so for example if i click out click on logout button somewhere in my content area then there would be an action which would just say um, logout. So I dispatched that logout action to this particular reducer and it would update the state and anyone who's subscribing and listening to that particular value inside the state would get immediately notified. For example, the header. So once we have this action with us, what we need to do is actually just pretty much switch, switch on something known as action.type. Now what this does is that every action has a type which defines what the action is doing and you can add some data as well. That's, that's the standard convention. Obviously you can do it any way you like but that's the standard convention, right? So um, what happens is that you can add something like action.data or action.information or whatever you like here but just stick to one because after that you can create some static type checking as well if you stick to one then what we can do is that once we have the action dot type with us we can add some cases so in our case um, what I'm gonna say let's just say case is our action logout I'm just gonna update the state by returning the new state like this and I'm just gonna say login status is false or just login false right now this is just the destructuring operator so we are just destructuring this um, initial state one and what we can do is right here we can define our actual initial state so we can say that our um, let's just say initial initial state is something like which consists of login as false and pretty much we can add some more details here as well and obviously we can just perform a lot of type checking with um, TypeScript by just defining some interfaces like let's just say um, app reducer state and I can just say that this is login state as boolean and then I can just pretty much add it app reducer state here and once I do that what we can do is uh, basically if I try to add something else here as true it will just show me an error that 
it's not assignable to this interface so we just need to update there as well it's for your convenience okay so once we have that state we can start defining the actions we are going to use so what i'm going to do is create another folder here we're going to cover um actions in a different tutorial probably in the next one but let's just get started with it for now so i'm just going to say import let's just say action logout from my um action actions directory uh, let's just create some actions let's just name this as app actions right so i'm just going to create this file real quick right now app actions.ts and what it would do let's just keep it simple right now export and let's just say this is logout right so now we are switching over to action logout yeah we would we could have made use of simply logout here as well wouldn't matter but once we do this what happens is that i can access the same variable inside my component as well so if i want to change this if i um get to know that there was a typo here and i want to change this i do not have to change this in two files two separate files we can just change it right here inside our actions and basically it just helps us to keep actions in a separate file as well so let's just revert it to that and once we have that we are returning login as false and i can create another action uh, another case here which is action login and i can say that this returns us the state and login as true and i can basically import this as well and i can say just like that and obviously we can just return our state just in case nothing matches here and we have to just make some changes to app module as well so once we do that we can make use of a service or something to um, inject that service into components and then subscribe those components to any changes and basically we can just start messing around with redux so that's all for this tutorial and i'll see you then in the next one and one more thing, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications.